I apologize, this is going to be a long video. Alright, take a look at the video that I did earlier. Uh, it goes over my idea and my opinions on saw teeth and uh, how they aren't, in my opinion, useless for uh, wood, woodsman skills, woods, woodcraft and bushcraft. This video is just going to be an expansion on that. It's going to be a lot of talking at first and then uh, I'll do some uh, practical exercise or some use with the, the different knives and different types of saw teeth. Alright, first of all I want to show you the, the uh, this is a standard pilot's knife. This is a Camillus and uh, this is what was issued for a long long time. It may still be, I don't really know. But you can see the saw teeth on this. They're more, it's more of a file or a rasp. They're not sharp. All these were different, you know, I mean depending on the manufacturer, the time of manufacturer on, uh, on the severity of the saw teeth. This one is uh, really fine and it's mainly more of a rasp which comes in handy for wood stuff in my opinion uh, doesn't affect you know how you use a knife at least it doesn't me and uh, you still have the pommel for hammering this one is one I made a while ago as an experiment this is a, a pilot's knife uh, you can see the saw teeth go forward just like on the pilot's knife itself um, and these are a little bit more severe but they're just a standard triangle cut sort of a a sawtooth. This, just like the standard pilot's knife, doesn't have set teeth. They're just straight in line. This is a standard uh, Randall 18 blade. This is actually an 18 or a 15 with saw teeth. You can see here, same thing. Just a basic uh, cut, sort of triangle shaped teeth. You see the difference here is Randall has put a top grind on these knives which makes the saw teeth thinner. You can see how much how much finer they are. From what I understand the purpose of this is is just to grab the uh, aluminum or plexiglass and to tear it. It's not necessarily to cut or to saw through. These are some of the worst there are for wood and I'll show you why. Here you got a standard um, just a saw, regular saw blade and hopefully if I turn this at the right angle you can see that these saw teeth are set. They go from left to right, left, right, left, right, left, right, alternating down the saw. That cuts a kerf or a gap for the rest of the blade to travel through the wood. If you don't have a gap that the saw teeth cut wider than the blade itself, it won't pass through the wood. You'll stop just above the saw teeth. That's why wood saws cut so well because they cut a bigger kerf or bigger slot for the rest of the blade to pass through. So none of these knives have set saw teeth. Most knives don't have set saw teeth if they have saw teeth on the spine. They're not made to cut a knight's, you know, a cord's worth of wood or a knight's, knight's worth of wood. This one is a silky saw. And you can see, hopefully, by looking down it, there's no set to these teeth. They do not alternate left or right. If you've ever used a folding saw like this, like on a, a sack farmer, or uh, you know like a Gerber saw none of them have set teeth your Leatherman saws they don't have set teeth but you all know that these things cut exceptionally well what's the reason for that how does it uh, cut a wider curve for the blade to pass through the reason is that this blade is ground kinda of backwards from a knife the spine edge of this knife or of this saw is thinner by a few thousands than the saw teeth are it actually has sort of a, a flat grind on this part of the blade. You see the thickness here, and you probably can't detect it, but the thickness is a few thousand smaller on this spine. So these teeth are actually wider than this blade, and that's how they get around having to uh, set the teeth from one side to the other. So that's the reason I'm showing these knives. We're just going to exclude this one because it's more of a rasp. It doesn't really saw much of anything. And look at these three knives and how they cut. This one is ground similar to the silky saw. It's got uh, pyramid style teeth. There's no set to them, but the grind is thinner from here down. Now it's not going to cut as well as a silky saw because I don't have the ability to, to grind uh, that precisely. I'm just not that good. This is all machine ground. I could probably do it if I took days and days to do it, but I don't have that kind of time. So it is what it is. 
So let's do a few cut tests real quick. All right, here's comparison uh, with a piece clamped up in the vise. Here's the Randall. Now, if I go very far with this, just to show the comparison, I'll do it. It's already stopped. Just won't go any farther because of the grind. Again, like I say, it's not uh, to badmouth Randall because I love Randall knives. They're just not made for wood. All right, now here's the uh, one with the. Uh, with the lower grind, at least it's lower right here. The grind doesn't come all the way up to the teeth. This one probably cut a little better, but still not great. Leave it up where it's higher, where the grind's higher, it uh, does better, of course. Just from that little experiment there, uh, clamping up a piece of wood like that, which I've never tried, it seemed to me that the uh, Jet Pilot's knife teeth uh, cut better than these teeth. The teeth on that Jet Pilot's knife um, are on the push cut, they're angled for the push cut. Um, I'll have to make a new Pilot's knife with a grind like this and uh, do some more testing and see if that'll pan out. Just get the right combination of grind and saw teeth, then they work. And that just has to be maximized to do it. It's like I say it's no replacement for a saw. I've said that several times because I know <laughs> like I'm standing here that somebody's gonna say that more than one person's gonna say that. Note that I've said this several times. <laughs> it doesn't replace a saw. But it's handy to have in my opinion and I enjoy them. If you do too, then you should have one. I want the bluebirds to scare you off. Thanks for watching.